Should you try the carnivore diet? I have plenty of thoughts about that. I'm going to share my own story with it and give you my thoughts on whether or not the carnivore diet might be right for you. Hey guys, Chris Cook in Nashville here. If you're new to my channel, I have lost a massive amount of weight by eating a carnivore diet, and I started a YouTube channel to health vlog and also start sharing the recipes that I was using while I was losing my weight and getting so much of my health back under control. I'm still working on what I do, and I've still got weight to lose. I'm at 132 pounds of weight loss right now, but every day I'm feeling even better, and I've created a bunch of cool recipes along the way that I've kind of gotten known for doing. So if you're here and you're brand new, I'm really glad. Stick around. Let's talk a little bit about health and let's talk about the carnivore diet. So first of all, for all of my followers that are here with me every week and listening to my health vlogs, I'm feeling really good this week. My energy levels are up and a lot of you know that although 98% of the time I am carnivore, I do occasionally now experiment with some more keto and ketovore meals just to kind of figure out where my body sits with all of that. We're going to talk a little bit about that today. But I'm feeling really good, and I, most of the time, I'm still doing my carnivore thing, and I'm feeling great, and the few keto things that I have had, they haven't really bothered me so far, so I think that there is significant health improvement in terms of my digestion and my just sort of intestinal stomach type stuff, like all of those things that I used to deal with, I'm not struggling with that stuff anymore, so that makes me really happy. Not that I want to do that on a regular basis, but it just makes it nice to know that if there is an occasion where I want to have something that's keto, I have a little bit more information about what makes me feel good and what doesn't. So all things considered, I'm feeling really good and my allergies are not as bad this time of year right now as they normally are. Here in Nashville, it is warming up uh, pretty regularly now and we have had some things starting to bloom, some of the hardwood trees and things, and that normally creates a lot of problems for me. And it is creating a little bit of the reaction, but it's not as bad as it has been in the years past. So it seems like that inflammation is down and my reaction to that stuff is better too. So all things considered, we're doing really well this week health-wise. If you're keeping up with me, you know that I'm doing my challenges. I'm doing my 100 jumping jacks a day challenge this month. All is well there. I'm still feeling pretty good. I feel like my stamina has increased a little bit with that to where I was doing 50 and 50 and now I'm trying to do more like 60 and then following it up with 40. So that first initial stamina seems to be maybe a little bit better. Overall, it's just nice to get my body moving and all is well. So the question now that we want to talk about today is, should you try the carnivore diet? If you're watching my channel and not already on the carnivore diet, you may be asking yourself this. For those of you who are watching my channel, I know a bunch of you are on the carnivore diet, but I'm just going to give you guys some of my thoughts about carnivore and who it's right for and whether or not you should do this to see if it can help you out. So the first thing that I would say is I think everyone is perfectly capable of doing a carnivore diet. I don't know of anything that I've ever heard that says you can't do some form of a carnivore diet. Now, I'm not a doctor and I do not give medical advice, so take what I'm saying with a grain of salt, but do your research and see if you believe that a carnivore diet is right for you. But the reality that I've seen, at least in the information that I've seen, the doctors that I follow, the research studies that they have shared, the things that I have read, and just my own N equals one experiment of my personal experience with carnivore, I don't think that there's anyone out there, save someone who has some maybe very rare medical condition, that a carnivore diet can't be utilized in their life. Now, one of the things that I know a lot of people talk about is, well, what if you have alpha-gal because you've had a tick bite and you have an allergy to meat and these kinds of things? The truth is there's a lot of things out there that you can eat on a carnivore diet that are not red meat, not ruminant animals. And although I think ruminant animals are the best source of animal nutrition, they're not the only source of animal nutrition. And I think you could do a carnivore diet pretty well without ever touching any of it. So there are those options. And Dr. Barry has also talked about this in a number of different live streams and videos on his channel. But he talks about how that allergy that you develop for ruminant meat is a temporary thing and it will resolve itself, and it may take some time, but eventually it will resolve itself and you can transition over into having more ruminant meats. I also think that the idea of a carnivore diet 
is going to boil down to what you believe. This is something that you really need to understand for yourself. Don't go out and try a carnivore diet because you've seen me or any other YouTuber or any kind of influencer on Instagram or TikTok or Facebook or anything else that says you should do this. Now, if you learn about it from someone like one of us, that's fantastic, but you need to be able to do your own research on this and decide what you believe. Because I will tell you, if you try to do this because someone else says you should, as soon as you hit a bump in the road or you have some weird experience or whatever, your brain is probably going to immediately tell you, oh, it's that carnivore diet, you better stop. And you're going to panic and you're going to be completely out of your mind trying to figure out what's going wrong. And we are so conditioned in society to be so afraid of this kind of stuff like meat that if you do this just because someone else has said you should and you haven't done the research, you are not going to have the tools when you start this to stand up for continuing it in the face of some of the things that we just experience as human beings. So do your own research and do it because you believe it's the right choice for you to try. So I think something else that you need to also think about with a carnivore diet is, do you really need to do a carnivore diet or would something like keto or ketovore be just as acceptable, just as health inducing as doing a carnivore diet? For some people, a carnivore diet is almost a miraculous cure. For me, carnivore was a miraculous thing when I tried it the first time because my brain was so inflamed and I had anxiety and depression and things that quite honestly, I didn't even know that I had until they went away for the first time. I didn't realize that I was struggling so much. I was keto and I was losing weight and I was feeling better and all this kind of stuff, but there was just always a gray, heavy cloud hanging over my head, and I didn't recognize that for what it was. I started the carnivore diet, and within about two and a half weeks, my wife noticed that I was waking up in the morning smiling, and it was something completely different that she had never seen for as long as she's known me. And I could feel the difference. I could feel the optimism and positivity and the extra energy and the focus, the mental clarity, all these things I've had. And this is something, if you go look at comments on videos like on Dr. Barry's channel, on my channel, on you know other channels that promote carnivore diets, you will see so many people in the comments talking about the mental clarity and just the mental health aspects. And there's a lot of research that explains why this is something that happens. So go watch someone like Dr. Barry. I'm going to link his channel down below with a couple of videos of his that I think are really helpful if you're considering carnivore. But go check something like that out. Listen to his videos. Read in the show notes where he links to research. Read that research for yourself if you really want to know what kinds of benefits are coming from this and scientifically proven benefits. Like, and that makes a big difference when you're looking at this kind of stuff. Like, don't take my word for it that this is good for your mental health. Go read the research and go look at all the comments from thousands of other people that have had the exact same experience on a carnivore diet. So for me personally, this has been a big miraculous thing that has just opened up my mind and my mental clarity in a way that nothing else ever has. Some people don't necessarily need that or feel like they can experience that with a carnivore diet any more than they do on a keto or ketovore diet. You have to figure out for yourself what makes you feel your best. This is a personal experience, and the only answer to if you should try a carnivore diet is I personally think everyone should try to do 90 days of a carnivore diet, and, and as strict as you can. And if that means that you still are going to have coffee or you're still going to use spices or whatever, fine, I don't care. I'm not one of the dogmatic carnivores that cares about every little tiny gram of everything they can possibly harp on about you having in your diet. I don't care. If you do carnivore for 90 days, as close as you can to being, you know, strict and, and you use those other things, if that helps stabilize you for that 90 days, fine, but try to get that fiber and try to get the plant product out of your diet for 90 days just to see 
what happens when you then slowly reintroduce different things. It's an elimination diet. Nisha, Dr. Barry's wife, Nisha, she's a registered nurse. I'll link her channel down below as well. She actually does these kinds of things, challenges where she has people do a carnivore diet for a short period of time, like say 90 days, and use it as an elimination diet to then slowly add things back in to find out what do you respond well to and what do you not respond well to in your diet. She has some great information about that. And I think everyone should try this for 90 days, if nothing else, for the purpose of doing an elimination diet to figure out what makes you feel good and what makes you feel terrible. It's a really good thing. Knowledge is power, and this information that we gain from this empowers you to make really good decisions in your life going forward. As far as sticking with that carnivore diet after that 90 days, though, this is where this becomes a very personal choice. You need to decide for yourself, are you happy on a carnivore diet? Because if you're not missing anything and you're fully stable and you feel great and you have no pain and you have no health issues and everything is wonderful, no reason to worry about it. Just keep doing what you're doing. And this is where doing the research and reading things like the studies and looking at the information that people like Dr. Barry share makes you more powerful and makes you more informed so you can make this decision confidently because you'll know that you're not missing out on any kind of nutrients. You'll know that you're not going to lose too much weight or that you're not going to become underweight because this is not a weight loss diet. It is a weight optimization and health optimization lifestyle. Your body will settle out at an ideal body weight when you give it time, whether that's coming down like mine is doing or whether that's coming up like some people who are undernourished and underfed. There's lots of ways our body can do different things to heal itself, but we have to get out of the way. That's what carnivore is for. It's helping you get out of the way. So if you have a bunch of health issues that you want to try to address, I think carnivore is a great way to go. And then you can sort of see if I introduce some things back in, keto or ketovore, is that better? Now, if you're trying to get to the point of doing carnivore, I think keto is a good place to start. And then you keep bringing your carb counts down. Start with like 20 total grams a day, work your way down over a couple of weeks to 10, and then work your way down as close to zero as you can by being carnivore for 90 days and then slowly reintroduce things to see if that's something that makes you feel good or bad. So whether or not you should do a carnivore diet is entirely based on you, your body, your expectations for food in your life, and just the person that you are, the constitution that you have, the resolve that you have, and more importantly, what you believe about a proper human diet. There's plenty of research out there. Dr. Barry links to it. Nisha talks about it. There's other doctors in the space that talk about it. There's plenty of research to show that low-carb diets, keto, ketovore, and carnivore are the way to go. That's the reason he calls it the proper human diet when you watch all of Dr. Barry's videos. So it's proper for every human being. If you have a pulse and you are a homo sapien sapien, the proper human diet, some version of it is the right thing for you. Whether it's keto, ketovore, or carnivore is something you have to figure out what makes you feel the best, what makes you the happiest, and honestly, what you are willing to stick to. Because an ideal carnivore super strict diet, even if that's the best thing for your health, if you can't stick to it because you're not at that point in your journey yet and you try to force yourself to do it and then you swing off the rails because you weren't smart about dealing with it, well, then the sad diet that you go back to or the other thing that you swing back to, that's not doing you any favors. You would have been better off starting off keto and then slowly working your way down. That's the reason I do the recipes that I do because you may not need these kinds of recipes on carnivore and that's totally fine, but there are some people out there that do and they would really benefit from a carnivore diet, but they don't feel like they can stick with it if they can't play in the kitchen, make things for their family that everybody loves, if they have cravings that they're afraid of trying to fight. If I give them a carnivore version of it, it makes it a little bit easier to go one more day, one more week, one more month until the cravings do go away because you're doing good things for your body the entire time. Even if you feel like you're giving in to one of those foods that you really miss from your old way of living. A carnivore diet is a great tool and it's something that you can use to transition from an unhealthy lifestyle over into something that makes you feel incredible. And I would recommend anyone give it a try 
talk to your doctor, watch those things by Dr. Barry to make sure that you are informed and you're being smart about this. But whether you have diabetes, some type of autoimmune disease, or you have any kind of muscle or bone health, mental health, I mean, all of these different kinds of things, anything you're dealing with, overweight, underweight, it doesn't matter. A carnivore diet is absolutely something that if done under the care of your physician, where you are talking with them about doing this smartly, I personally believe can help you find a brand new life. Now, whether you settle out on carnivore like I have 98% of the time, or whether you end up going ketovore and you want just a few more of those little veg seasoning type things, whether you want to go keto and you want to have lots of veggies that are okay on the proper human diet, you want to go even stricter than I am and do meat, salt, water for the rest of your life and you're going to live off of steaks and water, doesn't matter. Wherever you find yourself on that spectrum, it's just a great thing to do for yourself, for your health, for your well-being, for your future, and for your family and friends to take care of yourself properly. So should you try a carnivore diet? I think everyone under the care of their physician should try for 90 days as an elimination diet to see if carnivore is right for them. And if you love it, you should stick with it. And if you feel like you're going stir crazy, you should slowly introduce some of those other things to figure out what makes you feel your best and how you're going to be the happiest. Be it keto, ketovore, carnivore, or super strict carnivore, find your place on that proper human diet spectrum and make sure that you are happy and that you are taking care of yourself for your future and your family. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this information is helpful. I hope it inspires you to consider the keto, the ketovore, or the carnivore diet, or maybe upping your game on that spectrum to see if you can do something like an elimination diet. Whatever you do, make sure you take care of yourself because I love every single one of you and I see the value that you have and I want you to see the value that you have as well. This is Chris Cook in Nashville. Eat your meat, love your life. I'm going to see you in my kitchen for the next recipe.